Hi everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Okay, so hi, I am Shweta Samuta and today we have Shamini Mary who is an entrepreneur, a corporate trainer. She has coached thousands of individuals for different competencies. She joined my community last year and she has published not one but multiple books. So she applied the most trusted author model and here we have Shamini with us. Let me show you her books. Here are Shamini's books. Uh, first book is The Marital Paradox, A Challenge to Love, uh, Because You Need to. This is a nonfiction book, right, Shamini? Yes. And this is her second book, OAT Speaking for Nurses, Simplified to Get Grade A slash B. Yeah. So uh, that's for uh, nurses who are preparing for entrance exams, right? That's yes. right, Shamini? Okay. Yes, it's basically a longer competitive exam which every nurse needs to write to pursue their job abroad. Okay. So congratulations and so happy to have Shamini here. So congratulations once again. Thank you so Shamini. much. All credits to you. Um, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> so only the writing part was mine. <laughs> again. Let's 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 hear from you. Uh, what do you do and how you decided to write, you know, your book? The first book and then we'll go to the next but yes uh, what do you do uh, i'm a trip by profession me and my husband we run a, a educational and training institute so I will, we were working together and the pandemic and my maternity came uh, happened together so i was uh, in my maternity break and uh, my first uh, first book which is not released as of now not officially this book happened during my last trimester when I got struck in another city and that was when the first wave happened. I was stuck in a lockdown. I had health complications. I was in one room and at that time my mind I just couldn't do anything else. I was not, not interested in movies or just doing anything else and that was when I felt it was a nice experience to write a book and I felt compelled to write and that was when I started writing. And uh, when that book was like 80% over I was uh, try I, I had no idea about publishing then. So that was when I had attended your uh, workshop, after which my mindset and everything changed. And uh, with my new perceptions, what I had got and uh, all the knowledge that I gained, I felt compelled to write a new book with all my new perspectives and things like that. So that was how Marital Paradox was. And uh, inspiration for marital paradox, if I should say, it is based on real life experiences. All my, most of my books are come from some um, inspiration out of real life experience and the uh, marital paradox happened with speaking to many people not just friends and family but from my uh, training front too because I've had a lot of uh, uh, people who have opened up to me with their personal issues just because they wanted to convey how it was affecting their professional life or anything as such so many people started conveying things from me over the years I've been into this for seven years now so with that ex all those experiences I started telling people ideas and things like that over a period of time I had people telling it's nice what you're telling is nice it's working they liked it they they said it was nice whatever you're conveying is so after that I said why not just write it as a book and yeah. things like okay. that and so I also so what's your sorry. book about what's your book about my book is about relationships about uh, choosing the right partner about what to look in when you are looking uh, uh, partner as such to build stable relationship based relationship is like a wide topic it's like an ocean so how to comprise it was another condense it was uh, another thing what I had and another thing what I what inspired me to write was uh, an ad an advertisement of a matchmaking some website ad what I saw in television like which says choose your partner in a single click uh, a few swipes away like I saw people um, sharing their uh, the, how they saw the groom or the bride in a video call for the first time and the man was like fixed so I felt with the modernization and evolution of technology advancements and such even marriages and matrimony was becoming modernized However, people were realizing uh, things about their choices a little, a little later. So I felt that was, that gave me the inspiration to write this. So your book is about, uh, you know, how do you go about choosing a partner? Is that right? Uh, yes. What are the criteria you need 
beliefs, right? Some self love or based on beliefs, priorities, and things that you need to look for. Self care, self love, or difference handling differences in beliefs and perceptions. uh and then different things three secret, uh, secrets to married life and the uh, challenges what you deal with and many things as such okay that's that's amazing so it's like for people who are looking for a partner you know who have not yet selected it will be a great fit for those people right well uh, yes of course but i need to mention like few friends i whom ever i shared the book i had their parents or even people who are married for years who read the book and said it's nice whatever like even people who are married for years were able to relate to it okay. so after that i felt yes it is for people who are looking forward to choose a relationship partner however for people who are married also maybe it will give them a different perspective over their relationships okay okay nice so uh, how did you uh, write this book meaning uh, how much time you took and uh, anything that happened during your writing or publishing process you want to share <laughs> it was very nice i enjoyed the experience yes i did have a lot of challenges um i should definitely and the time period the question i think no one will believe me if i tell this <laughs> like people think it takes years to write a book like people say i've been writing a book for 7 years 5 years and things like that and uh, the time period i took for this book i would say one and a half months max not even one and a half month i would say yes i did the outline maybe a little prior uh, when i attended the workshop maybe because when i attended the workshop i thought okay what what will be uh, if i want to write a book based on my new perspectives with the what what will be what will be the uh, content or gen when i thought i just roughly drafted an outline and that's it after that i left it untouched for a few weeks i didn't really work on it but once i started working on it i completed it in almost a month's time a month and maybe plus or minus one week i would say okay which i myself couldn't believe it and i had self doubts i had self doubts i put it something so fast what if it's not nice what if i didn't give my best but after i started hearing the feedback i was like it made me contented actually and after that when i tried rereading it i didn't have regrets as such maybe of, i'm talking about the content maybe for the way of con, uh, um conveying the information maybe i would think i could have done it in a better way but i think everyone has that like you write a book and you read it after a long time maybe all authors will feel yes. i could have changed this i could have changed that i think that's something what everyone has Yeah. Apart from that, regarding the content, I didn't have any regrets. Although I completed it in a month. So you know, uh, I tell everyone that you have to complete it as soon as possible. Like month is also a good time. Within a week, within ten days. Is... But trust me, when you say that, people don't really think that's possible. <laughs> I'll tell you, I have this elderly person in the family who is a relative of mine who's trying to write a book. Okay. and uh, he is writing something like historical i guess he's been working on it quite a he was trying to make fun of me telling um every time you i see you in native and then you go to bangalore and come you come back with a book <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, and it's like you write uh, how to do this in 30 days and you just do it so he he was like making fun of me last time when i met him yeah same But, thing happens with me when relatives are like we meet you in a year's time and you've already done three books four books okay. what do you do so uh, i think you need to educate him how how it is to be done although it, it's historical uh, fiction or non fiction but then research has to be done beforehand or later but the writing part shouldn't take much time otherwise you already know that the quality of the book suffers and you won't be contented like right now you are contented happy because it was all coherent everything flows very nicely smoothly because you wrote it in a very less time period okay. i should say the techniques i learned really helped me for that because when you when someone starts writing a book they initially like if they are a technical person maybe they start typing it up or maybe they start writing it not everyone is comfortable with typing mm-hmm. i should mention this even i thought i was someone initially you know i had this perception uh if i sit on the laptop and start typing thoughts i wouldn't get thoughts unlike as i get when i sit with a pen and paper and write 
but with the pen and paper with time my hands started taking how many pages do you sit and write yeah. so i felt okay you can't do this maybe you need to figure out some other method so after i attended the workshop the methods i learned really helped me in a much more easier way and professional way yeah so that, that transformation was um, the only person who witnessed the transformation was my husband i should say <laughs> because uh, when i was doing he when i started it initially he didn't uh, believe that i'll maybe complete it and publish it so soon and when i started designing my own book covers and when my book covers were done and when i was sitting uh, i would sit late night i had a lot of challenges of course i'll tell that when i talk about the journey he was like you did this Okay, designers do this, right? That was the kind of thing. What I got, you did this. So it was a literal transformation, I would say. Transformed into an author, like all control in your hand, right? Yes, multitaskable author, I would say. <laughs> and that was everything I needed because I was stuck at home and I didn't have much resources. I was a full-time mother and I didn't have time. Also, so. I- I was able to I was able to really multitask work home balance child and everything. So you see, uh, as you just said, full time mother. Now mothers, yeah. People, if you are a full time mother or a full time father, and you were thinking that you know you don't have time, you should take inspiration from Shami. <laughs> she's not just written one, but two books. Okay, <laughs> so it's all about priorities, right, Shami? How did you prioritize your? Book? Oh, true. uh i think only if i share about my challenges uh, like people will understand uh, how how i was able to do it that's like that because it's not a quick work for everyone challenge what each person has is different as far i was uh, like for me challenges the were where yes my laptop crashed so uh, quite long back i didn't have a laptop uh, the only laptop was my uh, husband's laptop and he was going to work he was working full time and of course for the lockdown and everything i was not in a position to really have access to a new lap at that point of time and i will i didn't know if i will take this up as a full time profession and i wasn't even sure if i'll publish my first book when i will so day time fully i will take care of my child and uh, she was not one year old then so she needed me full time so day time fully household chores and my taking care of my baby and things like that my husband's laptop i would get access to it night and of course it will take uh, around more than 11 or sometimes even more than 12 so for my first book i wanted to do it at any cost so of course writing it wasn't tough i would say but the work that required back end like uh, formatting editing and everything else so i would sit night from midnight to almost early morning every night i would sit i made a checklist i made a plan of what all i should do and i sat consistently and worked every single day even then it wasn't easy for me because uh I personally i'm not a very uh, techno a technical person who has sound knowledge related to technology uh for someone else it might not be like that say for example grammarly is something very common which even uh, people who are working use it to check their mail stuff and it's something very common these days but i didn't know how to install it in my word and use it that's a very small thing but maybe uh, uh, for me it was difficult so uh, for every small thing like that i had to sit with youtube i had to see five videos i had to see and another maybe using another um, uh, thing in word that wouldn't be available in my word because my word uh, my word document is maybe some outdated version or something like that like these i had small small challenges in almost every step i need to take um but i still sat with it i would sit for there are things for which i have sat for like 2 3 hours and still i didn't know how to figure it out but finally i took a break i saw videos and then i contacted you also for support for certain things and somehow i figured it out so once i published my first book it felt like a big achievement really <laughs> and there is a will is the way <laughs> yeah and the view of how people saw me changed they were like okay how did you do it and you did everything by yourself <laughs> so it was not believable really so people out there see you know shamini again learn so much from shamini that full time mother not a technical person still she was able to do everything by herself so 
वो बोलते हैं ना दैट इफ यू इफ यू थिंक दैट यू कैन डू इट लाइक यू डिसाइड समथिंग एंड देन यू गो आफ्टर इट नो मैटर वॉट आई गोइंग टू डू इट इफ यू कमिट टू योर सेल्फ दैट then you will get solutions you'll find it somehow you know some or the other way just like shamini so that's amazing that's i'm sure people who are going to watch this video or watching right now they're going to get so inspired by you shamini uh, thanks to you as well because this wouldn't have been possible without you because my authoring journey if i should say it didn't start overnight like uh, i of course i was a person who was interested in books and writing right from my school days and during my school days i was interested in poetry and things like that i participated in poetry competitions and all and yes i was always fascinated by authors i don't know for for what reason but right from young uh, young age i'll say more than these uh, uh, famous people of other sectors or uh, industries authors always fascinated me i don't know for what but i always didn't have an idea where to start i was clueless uh, so initially when i start yeah some day i want to become one but i don't know how i don't know any steps to how uh, how to do it so when i thought that 7 years back i started my blog so that was the first step which i took towards my writing so i thought yes as of now i don't know what to do or how to start but let me just start a blog so that was my step writing and authoring and after that yes from there on it's been a long journey great so uh, like you did your first book how come you got this idea of doing your second book as i was doing my first book uh, i got an idea for my second book because it is related to my work and i at that point of time i was on a break from work and i was compelled to do this particular book for uh, two reasons uh one being that uh, with the, my experience with the students this is a uh, quite a recent exam which has come it, it doesn't exist since a very long time and materials access of materials for this particular books are less for students who want to prepare uh because it is uh it came recently and um, indian author books for this particular exam is very less there's just one more indian author book for this particular exam so and the reason why people, uh, there are no not much of materials for this book is because it has medical content it has medical content medical terminologies which uh, even a trainer will not be able to uh, sit and write until and unless they uh, probably work with a doctor or have inputs from someone else so that is i felt that is one more reason why there are not much books in this particular category okay so that was when and uh, when i started this book i would say uh i was in my native uh my cousin was getting married my cousin is a doctor by the way uh so at that point of time i had a lot of time to spend with her it was for her marriage quite a long period of time i got, we got, we all got to spend so at that particular time i thought maybe for the medical content alone why don't i get a little bit of inputs from her and i had a casual conversation with her i want to do this can you help me out and as, during the conversation itself she started giving me a lot of inputs after i showed her the sample of what kind of content or uh, help i need from her so our conversation led to a lot of content and ideas which i got so when i uh, ha- happened to stay there nights i used to sit and write all those ideas wow okay so the regarding the medical content uh, at least 50% of the content whatever i needed from the medical perspective was done during my stay there by the time the wedding got over okay <laughs> what what a great way to use time you know morning you are with the family and at night you're writing your book that's amazing it's amazing hats off to you <laughs> thank you so whatever doubts i had i used to of course it was a wedding and it, it was a family time i couldn't really pester her a lot for the content i needed but small, small conversation what we had maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes was more than enough for because it needed my inputs okay. so uh, 50% of thing was done there after that by the time i was back in bangalore and sat the book was done but then i needed another 50% help from another medical doctor okay. so and at that time the book was almost in the finishing stage and uh, at that point of time i didn't have access to anyone and uh, thankfully one of my another student who is a doctor uh, came in for help at that time okay. and he was like 
ki yeah, can help but again it was lockdown i was a uh, second lockdown second wave lockdown so <laughs> everything happened at one one point of time and at that time he was in another city so i connected with on call with him i connected on call with him and i sat uh, probably for half an hour one hour and discussed a lot and uh, i completed another 50% of the content what i needed related to the medical content and terminology. that's that's great that's great so i believe that this is doing really well the oat speaking for nurses book right uh yes uh, i initially uh, thought only of indian i mean indian nurses and i wrote this book because i felt uh, an indian author book is needed in this category because the work culture of indian nurses is completely different from um, the nurses abroad right uh, however i am having getting responses and i mean i am i am seeing a few sales from abroad as well from people across the globe great that's amazing Thank so you. so okay one more question uh, is uh, did you pay anyone to publish these books or you did it by yourself i did everything that i myself yes from the work i mean workshop group and things like that uh, yes there are people who might think cover designing it should i mean a good cover better cover will come only if it's done by a cover designer and things as such however when i started my authoring journey the content what i had le- learned from you was vast and i was really thankful that i was able to receive a mentor like you at that point of time when i wanted to begin my journey and i wanted to implement everything that i have learned so i really didn't want to give anything to someone else and get it done from someone else until and unless i feel no it's not possible at all till now for both my books i have done everything myself starting right from writing editing formatting cover design and i guess that's it of course publishing which so <laughs> the back worldwide and then ebook yeah just everything that's that's the first service uh, what i have opted outside now was probably uh, to this uh, for my trailer uh, i did a book trailer for i have a ebook that's coming up which is getting released for valentines day february 14 this week and for that i wanted to do a trailer and i felt that maybe i cannot do it and there's no, the file didn't have time also for that because um it's quite a short span of time for it so that was the only thing i got it done from outside but i think i might <laughs> try my hand at it also at some point of time okay. i didn't want to mess it up with the quality that is the reason i tried it out however i would say till now even the book cover especially the book cover for my oet book i would say when i see other book cover was for oe for insane category i would say my cover is no less than a cover that is designed by a this a professional designer true. as such true very true i saw it and it's it's nice you know yeah i also got many feedbacks for the cover for the oet cover specifically for people whom i were i delivered nice cover they said so i'm really proud that i did everything yeah and yeah <laughs> and that uh, you have full transparency that whatever sales are happening you get to see otherwise in case of traditional or when it publishes you have to depend on other publishers for that yeah, of course i am ch- trying to track it and work on the marketing front as well though it yes i do have a lot of challenges in the pro- throughout the process sometimes i take a break i'm not able to do i'm not able to be consistent of course as a part of our mastermind sessions it's that you would know because currently when i come on cam and my daughter will be like mommy <laughs> i mean i would feel so awkward i i would feel so awkward i would mute i would again uh, mute unmute mute unmute and then come again go i'll try to see the recorded version like cuz it has been difficult but i would say better late than never because end of the day more than when you do it whether you do it or not is all that matters yeah true so really inspired that uh, you're doing it and uh, i'm sure your daughter will also be very proud when she will get to understand that you've done so much while she was like one year old and you know handling her also and you've done this i should be very proud when she becomes like 3 year 4 year old and she gets no mamma mamma has written this book she will be very proud of it and i'm sure your family also is proud of you right now and yeah, saying that family uh, you know you didn't sit idle you are amazing and i'm sure a lot of females in the family are also very inspired by you shamini right 
<laughs> uh, really? Yes, definitely. They are like wondering how I did it, when I did it. Like she, I'm mean, taking care of kid, but still, how I was able to do? Yes, that seems to be a question. And yes, there are people who are really proud that I did this and things like that. Any particular advice for first-time authors who are watching this video? How they should go about it? You know, from your own experience, if you want to tell them, top advice from you. not just for first time authors like everyone has dreams and as far as authoring is concerned there are a lot of myths dilemmas and thoughts what people have like can it be done it cannot be taken up as a full time profession you really can't do much well about it why is for time many things that such all these things stop them from really trying it so if you have a dream just go ahead with it just try only if you try you know and obviously some day or the other when you look back you you'll be amazed of how much you have done and things like that because if someone had told me i would write a book on relationships i would write two books in the last year if someone had told me i would have laughed i i would have i wouldn't have really believed in it so until and unless you really try you wouldn't know yes challenges everything everyone has challenges everyone's path is different but just go give it a try that's my only take away and obviously the rest get a mentor like you <laughs> because i believe irrespective of whatever your dreams are you need a mentor i agree you know with both of both of these things one is always try you know don't know the possibilities you know things that can happen with you uh, when you do that uh, yeah. irrespective of whether that's a book or any other dream that one person has go take chances take risk uh, i believe in that and i really live by that if i have to do something i will not think about failure but i will think of okay what if it actually succeeds okay people always think uh, in terms of failure it will fail what if it fails okay but there are equal chances of it being successful as well which people don't really think they always look at failures so yeah what if it becomes successful so look at that possibility and of course get a mentor a uh, mentor can help you uh, in various ways for me from my own experience i believe that uh, i'm here it's all because of my mentors their blessings and of course my hard work is there but hard work in the right direction is all because of mentors you know that's what i believe thank you so much shamini people go ahead grab a copy of her book marital paradox and if you are preparing for uh, uh, you know the oet exam then go ahead grab a copy of oet speaking for nurses uh, both the books are available on amazon and flipkart and yes if you are outside india they are there on amazon go ahead grab a copy and don't forget to put your review because reviews is what you know authors really look forward to and it also helps other readers to know what you know what you liked in the book so go ahead grab a copy put a review contact shamini uh, give her your feedback and thank you once again shamini and congratulations once again for all your achievements thank you thank you so much